I've been meaning to make this video for quite some time to point out the effects of social justice in webcomics. This is the effect of once a beloved webcomic that many people looked up to into something that made many people to despise the comic and causing a massive exodus of the fanbase which is only now filled with social justice warriors and radical feminists. This is the fall of Sinfest. Before the transformation, it was a simple webcomic that tried to entertain folks making jokes here and there and even going as far as to make fun of feminism in one of the comics. However, around 2006, Toshida Ishida has stated that he is turning over a new leaf and thus starting changing the character's personality and adding new ones who only serve as man-hating lesbians who fight the patriarchy. Fans demand that the webcomic goes back to his original state, However, drinking the radical feminist Kool-Aid, not only has he ignored their pleas, but also reducing his critics into mere fedora-wearing zombies and translating their words into mere childish complaints without actually addressing the critics. This is what happens when feminism takes over anything. They become so self-centered and so narcissistic that to even criticize their belief would just be ignored and you'll be seen as a fedora-wearing MRA, just like Steve Shives. The main character of Sinfest is no longer relevant, he's just a simple horny man who just looks at porn. The sisterhood, which only made an appearance once in the comic, before the whole transformation, is now a recurring theme, which mostly talks about the patriarchy. And there's even a character who's trying his very best to be a good feminist ally, but is constantly being shamed just for being a man. What the fuck? If this is what he means by turning over a new leaf, then somehow the feminists have brainwashed him into hating himself and other men. This is the effect of social justice, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.